was handing you to another wild situation that we got right here for sure let's dive right into this what's good with my peoples man what's good with my folks let's get into this jt the bigger figure situation jt has been going live and trying to break down or clarify what he has meant when he i guess dissed mexicans dissed northanios and continue to do so right he feels like he's being got at by the latin community he feels like the Latin community is attacking him on social media, and he feels certain people that are predominant figures within the Latin community should stick up for him. Well, let's talk about this. Now, some are saying all this started based on the video that I posted, which is not true, but the video that I posted in regards to JT, right? And his history of shady business dealings. Now, if a black man gets on social media and advises his people on who not to do business with because of shady dealings, if that person did one shady bad deal or a hundred shady deals, it doesn't matter. That black man will be looked at as standing up for his people, regardless of what race the other individual is, Mexican, white, Asian, it don't matter. If that black man is standing up for his people and advising and warning his people, his community, not to do business with this individual because of X, Y, and Z, then that individual will be looked at as just sticking up for his people and advising his people of a shady businessman. But when someone from the Latin community does it, and the person happened to be a black man, it's all oh, the Latino community is attacking the black man now. Come on, bro, knock it off. And just to bring up one instant that I was referring to in one of my last videos about JT. Now, this happened a while ago. This wasn't recent. JT ran off on a bag from the homie Insane. There's a homie, a Northaniel, that's out of Stockton, California. He goes by Insane. Now, JT got over on this dude for 10 bands, bro. $10,000, and Insane couldn't get it back. Couldn't find JT. JT ran off with the bag, homie. Go. Otos is the one that got the money back from JT and back into the hands of Insane. Shout out Insane and shout out Gotos for making that happen. Now, we can have Insane come on here and tell that story. We can have Gotos, maybe, I don't know if Gotos will or not, but maybe we can have them both come on here and tell that story. But that's not what we doing, homie. You know what I'm saying? There's other people that want to come on here and tell a story about JT, but we ain't doing that. When someone is advising their community on who not to do business with because of a shady dealing, whether it be a hundred wrongdoings or just just one wrongdoing it doesn't matter wrong is wrong and if that person wants to advise his community on this shady businessman then that's that's his right to do so regardless of what race that individual is now jt the bigger figure feels some type of way because he feels goto should have stuck up for him in this situation he feels that goto's being a predominant figure in northern california hip-hop and california in general shit not just even in california texas like goto's is a predominant figure within the latino community period that's a fact well i think jt went wrong bro is running to the internet jt and goto's are supposed to be brothers right they're supposed to be friends they've known each other for many many years they're supposed to be good close friends if that's your friend if that's your brother black and brown right how come you didn't pick up that phone homie how come you didn't give goto's a call how come you didn't send a text to go to us but instead jt you ran to the internet and you made some bullshit ass video talking about go toes you got 24 hours nigga woo, 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 woo. bitch ass with this 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 and that calling him out of his name and all kinds of shit now if that's your brother all you had to do was pick up that phone and call your friend that you knew for many many years because people get into disputes or whatever on the internet all the time like if i get into it one of my black brothers on the internet all i have to do i know is call him hey bro what's happening what's going on bro what, what, what's going on what's this about you feel me and we could talk it out if we gotta fight then we gotta fight whatever the case may be but i'm not finna go on the internet and tell one of my black brothers that's that happens to be on social media as well and be like motherfucker you got 24 hours bitch ass woo 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 nigga you know what i'm saying this this and that make a hope and then try to cause division within the black and brown community this ain't got nothing to do with the black and brown community homie you trying to make it a race war homie like come on knock it off jt we ain't no one bi biting into that bullshit bro you dissed the northaniels then you dissed the whole latin community then you're backtracking on some videos and saying you support the latin community and then some videos you're saying fuck us like come on bro jt knock it off now, if you really want to go toes to vouch for you, if you really want to go toes or a predominant figure within the Latin community to vouch for you and stick up for you during these times, you should have called them. You have their numbers, homie. But instead, you wanted the clicks and views. Instead, you wanted to go to social media. You want to go to your YouTube channel, monetize what you were saying, and get all these views coming in, and everyone's watching JT now, and all that's turning into revenue for you. I get it. We get it, homie. We get what you're doing. But don't think, y'all, those of you guys that are watching this video listening, this ain't got 
got nothing to do with no Mexicans versus blacks, nor Daniels versus blacks. Black, like, you feel me? It's not that, homie. This what it comes down to is JT upset and then his feelings because a certain individual didn't stick up for him. JT felt certain individuals that are predominant figures in the Latin community should have stuck up for him. Well, JT should have called those dudes instead of running to the internet. And now JT is in his feelings because those same individuals are still not saying nothing on his behalf. Well, JT, you took this whole situation. You could have handled this a different way. So again, all those that is watching and listening, don't bite into the BS, bro. This ain't got nothing to do with nothing no no street shit no prison shit i don't know why he keep bringing up prison when it comes down to it jt was just in his feelings like i said bro if i had a problem about what somebody said and i can call my black brothers you feel me i call them right now if we had an issue i'll call them send them a text send them a dm hey bro what's this shit these fools talking what's going on bro what's happening you feel me we could maybe settle it talk it out meet up go have lunch see what's cracking you feel me now as far as promoting the black on black crime now that that's out of pocket that's wrong you feel me shout out to all my black brothers and sisters out there man you know it's all love and respect regardless of what any man tries to say or steer the pot at the end of the day jt don't live in these neighborhoods you feel me we do jt don't live in these communities where there's black and brown mingling every day together going to the same schools going to the same liquor stores going hanging out at the same parks driving down the same blocks posted up in the same hoods jt in africa and whatever he doing in africa man that's that's what's up you feel me but we in these neighborhoods not him. This ain't got nothing to do with black and brown. Nothing like that, homie. Y'all know Norteño's got nothing but love and respect for the black community. It's been like that for many, many years. And vice versa. The black community and the Norteños, you feel me? That that, that love is always going to be there. There's history there, homie. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I'm going to end it with that, man. It's the kid and I'm gone.